beautiful round color. Mmm, so incredibly delicious. So we're in the midst of holy months of Ramadan and today we get to check out how the dinner is being prepared. This is most historical traditional Turkish dish during this holy month. Now let's go check out how the lamp on the wood fire is being prepared. Up all of this lamb for all of the juices to absorb the meat from the inside. Now he added some more of the sheep's fat right in that fire for the fire to get stronger and higher. This is incredible amount of heat. Very excited for the outcome. And wow, food that is cooked on a real wood fire is going to be 100% bomb. It's been only 15 minutes since it's been put up, up next to the fire and the lamb is already looking beautiful. The lamb acquires such beautiful brown color. Wow, the heat is just insane. All of the fat is just gets soaked in because it gets rolling and rolling and twirling around. So the lamb fat get absorbed in the lamb meat very deeply. Plus it's so tightly stitched up together that way the fat stays within and all of the flavoring stays within that within that lamb piece. Now take a look at this tea making pot. It's called samavar. So the water gets boiled under this wood fire all together. It stays warm with these pots right on top of it and all of this and the smoke coming out all the way through the tube up in the air through the roof. Now this called samavar, it's very similar to the Russian making hot tea, samavar, but this made in Turkish style. This lamb is looking delicious and so juicy, y'all. Almost ready, about 20 minutes more and it's ready to go in my tummy. The meat is ready. It's been cooking for over than three hours. I'm betting on this. The meat is going to be super soft, tender, juicy, and hearty. Aroma is in here. It's out of this world. Now let's get to dicing it up, separating. It's almost iftar time, so let's prepare the dinner for all of the Turkish locals. This is about 12 kilos of straight up meat, and then can feed about 20 to 25 people. Wow, now that is a juicy, juicy meat. Simply broke down in little pieces. Wow. Wow, incredibly crispy on the outside, very smoky too. Mmm. Kind of hard layer of a um, kind of hard thin layer of the meat. Delicious dark meat. Mmm. I think I got the best part. The leg, the whole lamb leg. That is wild. Now let's see. Oh, if I can try this part. This part is one of the best pieces. I mean. Mmm, so incredibly delicious. The meat is so moist from within, very crispy and tender too at the same time. Wow, just check this out, I mean. Now if you're trying to make a lamb for the future, make a note. Sometimes less is more. Just salt cooked in its own body fat. 100 out of 100. Our beloved chef Mevlut Usta is preparing special for street feed, the special Turkish lamb barbecue. I mean, we have these lamb patties looking beautiful, delicious, and then we have lamb steak peas. Wow, check this beauty out. And some lamb rib. Wow, look at this beautiful, pretty, beloved, so known by Americans, lamb rib. And check this beauty out. Some pepper, tomato. Mmm, it's gonna be... Delish. Now it's about Iftar time where people breaking their fast. Let's get started with our lamb, different variety, and then some chicken wings as well. What I'm really curious about is to check out their lamb rib. Super famous in US. This is what we eat. This is the most popular and most ordered lamb piece in US. Let's give it a try. Wow. Well done, lamb rib. 
smokiness exterior. So juicy, distinctive smoky flavor, perfectly charred exterior, tender interior. Interesting. And the meat of the lamb is slightly different from Central Asia, where there is even more tail fat. This lamb kind of has an equal spread throughout the whole body fat, which makes it pretty interesting as well. Yet, it's slightly different lamb flavor. Super tender. Absolutely love lamb. Lamb patty, y'all. Wow. Now, that is some nice flavor right there. So, so tender. Mm. This is like the mini tiny little burger patty. Wow. So nice. Lamb steak time. Never had a lamb steak before just like that. Pretty good. A little bit chewy, slightly hard, yet delicious. But it's slightly different from the one that we've been cooking for over three hours. Now that is the killer right here. Let's compare it real quick all together. Now this piece right here. Mmm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The lamb meat that's been cooked over three hours. There's a different type of softness. Melts down as it touches my tongue. Breaks down so easily. Mmm. Now it's a whole different melody. Wow. Chicken wing turd. Wow, that's incredible. All of these sauces, this meat has been marinated for a while now, so therefore it's delicious, incredibly soft, and has a unique, unique flavor because the spices here are a different kind of story. Wow, the chicken skin, the outside of the meat is just full of this sauce cooked until it's incredibly soft. Wow, now there is some good chicken wing. Although the winner of the day is this whole lamb that's been cooked over three hours. Mm. I give up now. I found the best recipe for the lamb. Wow. Wow, I'm at the best Syrian chicken shawarma spot here in Istanbul, Turkey. Let's go try some out. Street food, Jika's here. Let's go get it. Checking out their first wrap, a Syrian chicken chawarma. Mm, wow, that looks interesting. That doesn't look like a classic regular one. Looks like it has its own different recipe. Okay, so this is an order from Sam's Grill and there is Al Burj restaurant right next to it. We got a falafel wrap. We're gonna try these two together and check these guys out. So there is a falafel right inside of this wrap. Delicious vegan options. I mean, for whoever doesn't eat meat, Immediately, it tastes pretty light because there is no meat in there. In combination with this fermented cabbage, it's so crispy, fresh tomatoes. That was so good. Mm. So juicy. Chicken shawarma. Let's give it a try. Chicken goes in first. Mm. Wow. This sauce is so delicious, smoky, but this flavor though, the sauce that they put the chicken in is just incredible. That is so good. I want to see what kind of side sauce is this. All right. Mmm, that sauce has garlic in there. I thought it was a mayo, but this is quite delicious. Very strong garlic flavor in here. Um, that is rich in flavor. This is just the chicken, but the sauce makes it so nice and creamy. Wow. Mmm, this caramel drizzle, that looks just wonderful. And it tastes so good. Sam's Grill Al Burj Falafel. Thank you all so much for having me. First time trying Syrian food, but it's been the best, hands down. Thank you all so much for having me. Straight from Istanbul, Turkey. Street Kid was here and Jika. I'll see you next time.